favor of online education uh, because of uh, first of all I want to tell you that uh, uh, the uh, necessity is the mother of invention because before the 2019 uh, offline education uh, was completely existed uh, in the India or uh, all over world. Uh, after the COVID-19 pandemic in 2019, uh, online education came into existence and there are uh, many good advantages of the online education and uh, it's completely depleted uh, to the offline education because uh, uh, a person or a student uh, who is at home, he can attend the uh, class without going to classroom and uh, without uh, going to uh, in contact of any student other uh, for the interaction. That's why I support, I always support to online education uh, because uh, the uh, people who is attending uh, this classroom uh, from home, they can easily get uh, anything, whatever uh, this teacher uh, online play, uh, who is at online platform is delivering to the students, uh, he is completely getting his knowledge. <laughs>
गवर्नमेंट स्कूल इज बहुत वेरी
this. Why you have? Why did that? Now we are getting the answer. Why is it compulsion of the time? Compulsion of the time. Because I am not getting my point. Yeah. Right. He was saying that our education saves our time, and now you are saying it's a compulsion of my time. But we are not getting on this thing or at the online platform. The same point. We are also saying. Only one thing.
services, government is uh, government and the private companies, everyone is working on them. So I don't think that is uh, much uh, uh, much uh, important. To, I think, uh, well, if I uh, if you're talking about off night, as you said, uh, it is coming from ancient times, traditional, the method uh, of is a traditional way. So you uh, gave uh, centuries to offline studies to set up. And uh, if we are talking about online studies, you are giving only two to three hours to set up. It will also take time to set up whole. And uh, uh, as I said, my second point, you said uh, if you all are supporting online study, then why are you here? So uh, I would like to say that uh, almost we all uh, belong to like uh, millennial, when it's like we are uh, 2000 children. Many of us uh, are, uh, we are born in 2000. So we also belong to old school. So it is a little bit harder to watch to directly accept change. But if you talk about our Gen Z generation, like my uh, nephew is 8 years old, so uh, they are more uh, technical, uh, technically uh, grown up fast. So uh, it will take time a little bit. And we are 20 child, that's why we are here and we are also adapting. We are not only, uh, even we are doing our uh, life and uh, we are also on both sides, online and offline. So if we are talking about us personally, it is a, uh, we can say, the foundation of time, the foundation of mind, as I am an old school. So it is a little bit difficult for me to get the technical knowledge. I would like to even, uh, yeah. So my point is, uh, it will take time. And uh, <laughs> sorry, I am repeating my things uh, again and again. So uh, we are not talking about only our uh, personal thing. Uh, if we are talking about Gen Z, then uh, at 2025 or 2030, uh, we can uh, see that uh, shift in the change. So that's all.
Sir, ma'am is targeting that you you have to require the environment no. yeah. also. I was oh, just clipping your topic. Just talk about topic. Yes. Talk about online history oh, and yes, offline sir. history. Yes. Yeah, please have a seat. Yes, sir. As you said, my friend, that the Gen Z generation are going to uh, broad past their uh, online studies. Talk about the ground field, medical facility, laboratory, library, and other things. The field work. Where they can do in online? No. You have to go offline. You have to do the things offline. You have to socially interact with the people. You have to learn the things by practicals. That there are labs like physical, uh, physics, chemistry, biology. You have to do practical in the lab. You don't get the everything online. Okay, I have to speak today, Anna. Okay, Anishka, please, you, you speak. 